Um, so guys, here we are with a beautiful water buck. Um, ancient bull, broken horn. And uh, he took us on a very wild ride. Um, the shot was a little bit unexpected. Uh, we were actually watching a warthog on our way to this guy when he just popped out of out of nowhere. 30 yards frontal. I did have well, I do have confidence in my equipment. That's why I took that shot. And um, it was a little bit high. And uh, Ben and Ben was a little bit worried at the beginning, but um, but yeah, we followed the trail and there was tons and tons of blood. Um, I can't believe that he went this far, but uh, managed to find him with daylight, thunder in the back. Um, we were really scared that, that it was gonna rain on us, but uh, I gave him a, a second shot, which was kind of useless. Um, but yeah, just, just taking a shot, and then that actually gave us the opportunity to, to go in and finish him off with, with a third. He would have died, I assume, in the next 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, I just hate to, to let animals suffer. But uh, insane how tough African animals are. I mean, uh, two, two inch cut um, in the middle of his chest. There was gallons and gallons of, of blood, not really, but there was a lot of blood. Um, but yeah, at one stage, uh, when, when Ben told me he's, he's still walking, I was like, there's no way. Any case, he was walking. Um, so awesome team effort, Christian on the camera, Ben, professional hunter, good friend. Um, I always know when I hunt with them, we, we do awesome stuff and uh, this, this time was no different. So guys, thank you for being here. Awesome sharing this memory with you, with you guys. Um, beautiful bull, he's grey on the back, broken on. I couldn't ask for a better bull to take. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was freaking cool making it. stalk with, with some cover between us and the bull. Um, he was bedded in a very open area so we kind of knew that it was going to be a very long shot. Fortunately I was prepared for it and um, yeah we kind of ran out of cover at 94 yards. I snuck in a little bit on my knees and then eventually shot the shot at um, 91 yards. Unfortunately the bull actually heard the shot um, and he, uh, he stood up just as the arrow reached him. So my shot was a little bit low. Unfortunately, with those long shots, I was taking a little bit of a risk. But we ran out of cover and uh, I felt confident in what we could do as well as my ability to take the shot. And um, yeah, we finally got him down and uh, just super happy with this beautiful black bull. Yes. Um, I think he, he has everything one wants in one of his animals. Um, long tails, beautiful bosses, deep, deep curls. And uh, yeah, super happy with this thing. Yeah. This animal is going to have a lot of stuff. 